Have you ever wondered what is inside our body? Every human looks different from one another, and yet we all have the same body parts, which are both internal and external. Today, we will be taking a look at some internal organs of the body and what they do. First off, we want to understand what an internal organ is. An internal organ is an organ of an animal that we cannot see from the outside that is inside the body. Our body has a lot of internal organs and here are some examples of them. We have the heart, the liver, the stomach, the kidney, the lung, the brain, the intestines, both small and large, the esophagus, the spleen, the pancreas, the trachea, and etc. In this lesson, we will focus on the heart, the brain, the lungs, and both the small and large intestine. So let's start with the heart. The heart is a reddish brown organ found inside the chest. The heart is made up of muscles called cardiac muscles, which are strong and can pump or send blood into blood vessels. Let us look at the function of the heart. A lot of people think the heart produces blood, but actually the heart does not produce blood. The heart pumps blood to all parts of our body. Every part of the body that has blood received the blood from the heart. It pumps blood through blood vessels. There are three main blood vessels in the body, which are veins, arteries, and capillaries. The arteries send blood which contains oxygen from the heart to all parts of the body. The veins, on the other hand, are located closer to the skin and can be seen with the naked eyes. They send blood with carbon dioxide from the body to the heart for it to be oxygenated. Let us look at the lungs. The lungs are located in the chest and we all have a pair of lungs in our chest. One on the left and the other on the right. Because of how delicate and important the lungs are, they are protected by the rib cage. Let us look at the function of the lungs. The lungs is where gaseous exchange occurs, or the lungs is where gases are exchanged. The lungs send oxygen from the inhaled air into the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood out of the body. This is known as gaseous exchange. The lungs expand or becomes bigger when we breathe in oxygen. This is called inhalation. It contracts or becomes smaller when we breathe out carbon dioxide, this is called exhalation. Let's take a look at the brain. The brain is one of the most fascinating and yet very complex organs in the body. This is one of the few organs in the body that we cannot live without. The brain is found inside our head and is protected by a bone called the skull. It is part of the nervous system, which is made up of the brain, the spinal cord, and nerves. Let us look at the function of the brain. Basically, the brain controls all the functions of the body. 
the brain stands as the control house that ensures that every part of the body works correctly. All the parts of our body are connected to the brain through nerves. Nerves are like wires that send electrical signals to and from the brain. When we touch something, the nerves send electrical signals from the touch receptor of that place to the brain. And the brain tells you how to react by sending electrical signals through the nerves to the hand or to that area to move it away. Just like the heart, our brain never stops working. The brain gets messages from our sense organs, which are the eyes, the ears, the tongue, the skin, and the nose. Our brain stores information in the form of memories. Let us look at the last organ, which are the intestines. Let us start with the small intestines. Firstly, the intestines, both the small and large intestines, are connected together and are located between the stomach and the anus. It can be divided into small intestine and the large intestine. The small intestines is about 22 feet or 7 meters long and it is quelled inside. The small intestines absorb important nutrients from food after digestion. Nutrients are things in our food that helps us to grow and work well. After digestion again, the undigested food reaches the large intestines where water is moved and it is stored temporarily to form feces. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is basically four internal organs of the body. The heart, the lungs, the brain, and the intestines. 